The words twinkle twinkle little star may put a baby to sleep, but they aren't precisely accurate outside of Earth's atmosphere. A correct version would be, emit, emit, giant balls of gas. Not so catchy, right? Stars, the dazzling beacons of light that come alive when the sky darkens, have always piqued our interest. They've been worshipped as gods, used to measure the passage of time, and as a means of navigating the planet. But, do we possess enough knowledge about them? We have been able to observe and study millions of stars thanks to our advanced telescopes. They have enlightened us about the universe's deepest secrets. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has obtained photographs of the most distant star ever observed, which appears to provide a fascinating view into the primordial cosmos. It has set a new benchmark by detecting this distant star. This star is believed to have existed within the first billion years, after the Big Bang. Astronomers have named it, Arendelle. An old English name, which means, morning star. Arendelle's light has traveled an estimated 12.9 billion years to reach Earth, a considerable leap over the previous most distant star, which was 9 billion years old. Because of an unusual cosmic alignment, the observations were feasible, and Arendelle may be the only solitary star from this time that we will ever observe. Studying Arendelle will provide a window into a hitherto unknown era of the universe. This is a groundbreaking discovery that opens up a whole new field of research, by allowing huge stars to be directly observed when the cosmos was young, and star formation was just beginning. It is thought to be at least 50 times the mass of the Sun and millions of times as bright, making it one of the most massive stars ever discovered. A dazzling star like this would typically be undetectable. Even the whole galaxy is simply a speck of light at such great distances. Astronomers will be able to quantify the star's brightness and temperature, as well as gain insight into the makeup of the first generation of stars, according to the scheduled observations. These stars evolved before the universe was filled with the heavy elements created by successive generations of big stars, and they are the forerunners of the stars we see now in the sky. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, which launched in December 2021, and is now preparing for science operations, should be able to determine whether Arundel is a single star system or a cluster of star systems. Its optics are superior to Hubble's and far more advanced. Both these magnificent telescopes are expected to work together and bombard us with loads of new information about the cosmos. Examining Arundel will provide a glimpse into a time in the cosmos that we are unfamiliar with. It's like, we've been reading a fascinating novel, but we've started from the second chapter, and now we'll get to see how it all began. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments to let us know and don't forget to subscribe. All of us witness tantrums and outbursts of infants at some point in our life, and that is not only exclusive to humans. Even animals have been victims of their infant's paroxysm. This doesn't stop here. What if I told you that even stars in space throw tantrums? Recently, the Hubble Space Telescope clicked a laser-like jet of light that represents a tantrum being thrown by an infant star. The star in question was a very young star, which was just starting to evolve. The image captured shows a jet of gas traveling at supersonic speed. The glow scene comes from the jet colliding with dust and gas around the star, as reported by the European Space Agency. The result of this collision is the colorfully wispy structures known as her big hero objects. These objects are bright patches of gas near newborn stars. This isn't the first time that the Hubble has captured this phenomenon on camera. The her big hero object or HH34 is about 1,250 light years away from Earth and resides in the well-known Orion Nebula. The Orion Nebula is the closest interstellar nursery to Earth and is known for its star birth regions. As it is so close to Earth, the Hubble has an advantage in observing it. The new imagery, according to ESA, will be useful for future science projects, with the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope, which is currently in commissioning, until around June. Webb will be able to peek into the dusty envelopes around still-forming protostars, revolutionizing the study of jets from these young stars, officials from the European Space Agency noted. The high-resolution photos of HH34 and other jets taken by Hubble will aid scientists in deciphering future Webb observations. The images captured by Webb, once it completes its mirror alignment process and reaches a cold enough temperature, will be used alongside these high-resolution images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. 
astronomers will be able to better interpret future discoveries made by the Webb telescope by comparing Hubble photos. The future of space observation appears to be promising. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below.